My name is Joost from Disnet, and we're at the iRigs booth looking at some cinder lenses at IBC 2019. I'm here with Carol from iRigs at IBC 2019. Carol, how's it going? That's perfectly, very nice, thank you. And how's it going with the cine lenses? Yeah, we are just, uh, just showing our new um, uh, new product line because Irix uh, in the past was known from the photo uh, line of the products. Now we are entering to, to the cinema world. Yeah, because everybody knows you from like the 150, the Dragonfly, and you had the Firefly. And how does that translate into the cine world? Well, uh, of course, uh, the lenses are adapted to, to follow the cine standards. Uh, basically, in case of 150, uh, we can say that the, uh, the optical design for the lenses are the same. Uh, but, of course, the housing is totally different. And in case of uh, our latest 11mm, uh, the optical construction was redesigned as well, because we would like to follow all the um, important factors for the cine industry, like minimum breathing, and uh, that was, that was uh, why we had to redesign the lenses. All right. So you have two lenses now. Will there be right. an entire family? Yeah, of course, that's the plan. All right. So what can we expect next? You can expect uh, something new very shortly, but at this moment I can't tell you what it will be. Um, and let's get back to uh, the housing. Um, can you explain a little bit more about the housing in this one? So, for example, um, with the photo versions you had uh, the UV reflectant paint and all that. Is that still in here? Yeah, the UV uh, reflective paint is, uh, is still here, so, uh, so you can use a small UV light to, um, to make the scale glow in the dark. Uh, but uh, the most important things for the cine um, industry is that, uh, of course, the lens is equipped with the uh, gearings for uh, for using the uh, follow focus systems. Is it a is it a standard eight pitch? Yes, it's the it's the standard uh, eight pitch uh, system. But we added a small uh, small feature, which is uh, actually quite uh, nice, and I. I think it will be very well uh, accepted by the by the cameraman um, because uh, we added an adaptive ring. We call it adaptive ring. Yeah. It's a small ring which uh, allows you to to hide the uh, the gears in one place. There is a uh, cut like it part, gap, yeah. like, like a gap, where you put the, um, the follow focus. So when you have like a wider follow focus, it doesn't interfere with the, the, the lens barrel. Right, that, that's, the, that's the first point. And the second point is uh, if you, because sometimes people, they use the lens manually without the, the follow focus. So then it's much more um, comfortable for your fingers. Yeah, because you see more and more people who like would barrel pull as like, what would be called like focusing with your hands without a follow focus, because there's more and more people who shoot like, I don't know, uh, an a Sony A7, like anyone shoots small, they don't want right. a matte box and a full of focus. So actually what it looks like you're doing is filling the gap between the, the, the video maker and the photographer who wants to become a video maker. Exactly. Uh, now uh, there is a trend on the market, uh, in the industry, maybe not in the, on the market, um, to, uh, to keep the equipment uh, smaller, uh, less weight, uh, to be more uh, agile, uh, to be able to mount the, the camera on, um, uh, on uh, smaller uh, rigs or with the... Um, smaller cameras. Smaller cameras, right. Uh, so we would like to follow those, uh, uh, those ideas and uh, we'd like to keep the lenses uh, with uh, um, less weight, like roughly one kilo. Uh, and the sizes also uh, should be not too, too big, so that's why we've decided to to use uh, a 95 mm um, di dimension ring. for the front front ring. So all kind of accessories uh, uh, for with the 95 mm you can use with our lenses. That will be for the whole line. Yeah. Uh, and for uh, for the most of the lenses, we are going to use 86 mm filter threads. Of course, 11 is a little bit unique because it's ultra wide angle, so we cannot use the filters on it. But all other lenses will have 86 mm uh, front filter thread. So of course you could still use an industry standard matte box. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's great. So you have an 11 millimeter right now. There's a 150 millimeter. So when will there be something new? As I told you, uh, we are going to to have something new quite shortly. Um, I can say only that you need to follow our social media because there will be some information shortly there. I'm definitely going to do that. Carol, thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next show. Yeah, thank you. This was Joost from Disnet at the iRigs booth. We'll be walking around IBC 2019 looking for some more stuff and make sure to follow us around.